Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, want to take you through uh, Blackrock Mining and our Mahingi project, and I really want to talk about uh, why we think it's the best undeveloped graphite project available globally today. In effect, there's three reasons. Um, first one is our capital position, and that is uh, we've got the lowest capital cost of any project for meaningful scale. The second issue is margin, and that is because we've got a premium graphite flake, we're able to sustain the highest margin of uh, our peers. And the third one is technical risk, and that is we've done the work to take the risk off the table to uh, put us in a position to have a fantastic project which we can advance. The, the project at the moment is 100% owned by BlackRock, so we're in a driving seat and we get to make the decisions, which is, is fortunate. Over the last 12 months, we've delivered an exceptional PFS, and that PFS uh, has developed a mine now that we've got a 31-year mine life. Um, it's a staged ramp-up. Uh, so that gives us a, a meaningful scale of up to 250,000 tonne a year of product. We're able to do that off the back of a $90 million capital investment. Uh, we cash flow fund uh, modules two and three. The OPEX is 378 bucks a tonne, which is uh, second lowest on the uh, cost curve at the moment but because of our product, we achieve the highest margin. Importantly, uh, for those who've looked at the announcement this morning, We've demonstrated we can uh, succeed in rail haulage, and that's, at this stage, likely to knock off another $40 off that OPEX, which will put us into the bottom of the cost curve. Our, our metrics are unimaginable, $905 million NPV, US dollars, after tax, after free carried interest for the government. Uh, that's a 10 to 1 uh, value to investment ratio. Our product at the moment we think is, uh, is incredible and uh, we'll go through a slide that will demonstrate that and we're still pushing that product even further. It's a very simple flow sheet. Uh, we've completed pilot plant testing. We'll run two pilot plants. We've completed pilot plant one where we've done 90 tonnes of product through the mill, generated about uh, 10 tonnes of concentrate which we're putting in the hands of customers at the moment. And that is where the only graphite developer who's done a pilot plant who can put meaningful volumes of concentrate in the hands of customers. And uh, while we all talk about our price points, we at least have the product to prove the price point. Our, uh, our path to market is, is, is established. Uh, we've got uh, good relationships out there. Importantly, we've got product which we can put in the hands of uh, our customers. And finally, the graphite market's improving. I'm not going to talk about EVs and the rest of it, because if I need to talk about EVs, we're probably at the wrong conference. But uh, the one that does matter is the expanded uh, graphite going into building installation, and that's a market that is, uh, is moving very, very quickly and advancing very fast. And uh, fortunately, our product seems to fit into that space very well. A little bit about um, our, our management team, uh, two key people, there's, there's myself, I've got 35 years of experience in the business. Uh, I've joined BlackRock on the back of uh, being head of technical at St Barbara. Uh, St Barbara, we took that from eight cents to over three bucks by uh, addressing the technical issues in the organisation and uh, we're trying to repeat the same effort here. Our chairman's Richard Crooks from EMR Capital. Uh, Richard's very experienced in financial markets and he's joined uh, the company on the back of uh, the work that we've done and uh, we're very, very happy to have Richard with us. Our strategy on the business, uh, as we said, it's a staged strategy. We call it crawl, walk, walk run, and that is we buy uh, one module with our first investment and importantly that module is right size to throw off enough cash to cash flow fund a further two modules without going back into market. And uh, we're able to do that because of the, the margins that we achieve. And there are two things that drive the margins. The geometry and the grade of the ore body. Our ore body at the moment is about 8.7% in ground, which is about double the head grade of most of our Tanzanian peers. Um, but importantly, we have a very low strip ratio. And I like to think of this as an absolute strip ratio, and that is how many tonnes of rock you need to mine to produce a tonne of product. We need to mine about 16 tonnes of rock for a tonne of product. Um, if some of you are down at 4%, some of our peers are looking at about 40 to 50 tonnes of rock for a tonne of product. So it gives us a sustainably low cost position. You just can't compete away. The other important thing to, to really pick up here is uh, the price of graphite. And you get um, two graphite producers in a room, you'll have 10 different prices. But the reality is 
you uh, need to be able to survive at the base of the, uh, the price cycle. So if we, we look at the price there, um, you know, if we've got our prices wrong and uh, we could look at 800 bucks a tonne, um, we still have a compelling investment of over 400 million bucks at 800 bucks a tonne. There are two projects that will survive at 800 bucks a tonne, that's Syrah and us. Nobody else can survive at that point in time. So, you know, the proof's in the, in the numbers there. The next one is, is kind of important here. If we look at our capital intensity and our net margin, and that's the graph on the right-hand side, uh, what we've done there is we've put uh, everybody else on the same metrics, same price pack, and looked at uh, survivability. And you can see there that uh, our project ends up with the highest net margin, the lowest net capital cost of any of the projects of meaningful scale. And uh, for that reason, we, we believe that the project is, is absolutely the best. And certainly, it's an exceptional law body that delivers that. We've just completed a pilot plant run in Canada. Um, and a couple of things come out of this. Firstly, there's a, a big white space on the right-hand side of the flow sheet, and that is because we don't need much else to deliver uh, our material. We're able to produce 97.5% uh, concentrate uh, off three stages of cleaning. Uh, it's a single polishing cell, three stages of cleaning, and we're producing 95.5% material. That's exceptional. It's a very unusual milling flow sheet, and if you were to go ask uh, any other graphite producer or developer their flow sheet, they uh, simply wouldn't be able to show you because they don't have one that works. Um, we're able to produce this material here um, of three stages. And the important bit is the sizing curve. Um, most of the excitement at the moment is in the battery space, uh, and that's at the finer portion of that uh, sizing curve. Importantly, uh, two-thirds of our product is in the larger fraction, which is the higher value material. So if you look at that 500 micron material at the top there, that sells for up to 3,000 bucks a tonne. Um, the finer material is at the bottom of the curve. That's the typical battery feed. So fortunately, we've got a size distribution that puts us at the top end of the value curve. And we're able to produce that off a very, very simple uh, flow sheet. So we've uh, been focused on delivery over the last 12 months. Um, as I said, we've delivered the, uh, the PFS uh, in the uh, first quarter of this, uh, this financial year. We've declared the reserve at that point, so it's about 70-odd million tonnes of reserve. That's the second, second biggest reserve of uh, the graphite producers globally. Uh, the only people bigger than us is Syrah. In the uh, second quarter, we got uh, Richard Crooks to come on board as chairman, and uh, we think that's a a key stage in our financing. We raised money which uh, financed us for the DFS and we completed the 300 cycle battery test work. 300 cycles is important because that's the equivalent for uh, a consumer goods which is equivalent to two year contract on a mobile phone charging it up every second day. So it's a milestone and again it's something that nobody else has done. In Q3 we've completed our metallurgical drill out and bulk sample. Um, and we started off with our pilot plant run and uh, produced material off the pilot plant. Importantly, on the back of that, which we've just completed last week, is uh, we've completed a rail shipment out of Tanzania as a proof of concept uh, of the rail haulage, and we think that's a, a key, key, key advantage that's available to our project. Next year, rolling forward, um, we'll complete the, uh, the, the DFS, we think, around Q1 uh, next financial year. And on the back of that, we'll start moving into what I call is feed, which is front-end engineering design. We believe that we'll be ready for construction uh, around about the end of calendar year with a 12-month construction program on a, uh, on a modular execution with first concentrate being produced around about Christmas 1920. Our uh, channels to market are pretty important, and that is our offtake partners. Um, we've got two important MOUs. First one's with MIWA, that's the chemicals division of uh, Mitsubishi Limited. Um, they are real players in the graphite space. 
um, and they actually produce material. So importantly, the, the conversation with Miwa is uh, tightening up at the moment. We're starting to be able to have some serious conversations about volumes. Botian are important because Botian are a, a spheroniser coating uh, operator in the Chinese supply chain and what that allows us to do is we can have conversations with battery customers and we can supply coated and serenized materials to battery customers without having to get involved into that space. It allows us to, to service that market without having to get distracted from the business of running a mine. Said so graphite prices are looking up at the moment. Uh, as you can see there, that's the, the benchmark mineral uh, index. And in particularly of note, you can see the red line at the top, which is the, the bigger material, but that's at 95%. Um, and you can see the difference between the, uh, the battery grade material, which is the lower, lower curve. We think as we go forward, we're going to see increasing tightness in the, in the large flake. Uh, that's increasingly in shortfall, and that's the material that's in demand at the moment for the expanded fireproof insulation. So I just want to wrap up now very simply why, why BlackRock. Well, firstly, we've got low capex. We've got low capex because we've got an ore body that lets us do it and we've done enough engineering work to prove that uh, the numbers are real. It's high margin. It's high margin because we've got low costs, because we've got an ore body that lets us do it, and we've got a product that is unique in terms of its uh, flake size distribution and its purity. And finally, we've got low technical risk because we've done the work. We've got a very, very simple flow sheet. Uh, and that allows us to uh, execute easily in the field and importantly it improves our capacity to operate that flow sheet simply in the field. Um, so yeah, that's BlackRock and uh, thank you. <laughs>